Hi everyone, welcome back to Culinary with Kate and thank you for joining me today. So in this video, which isn't going to be too long, I'm just going to do a little basic sort of like a colour and chat thing. And um, um, I'm going to colour in this book here, which is called Nice Little Town 6. Um, and I have a separate video where I've shown um, that I, how I pre-prepared this page with satin glazing liquid which allows me to use watercolour medium because of course this is quite thin paper so I thought I'd, I'd see how, how well it works because I haven't actually in on Amazon printed paper actually um, in Curious Creatures but that's a Creative Haven book where the paper's slightly thicker I have um, used satin glazing liquid and used watercolours on top but not on a not on Amazon printed paper like this so I wanted to see how well it works so I've got a piece of paper underneath and yeah I'm just going to get started so um, I think I will work on let's see this bit here which is like the backgroundy bit so I'm going to use my um, neo colours a few neo colours pastel shades um, that I've uh, found so let's start the top here actually so yeah I, I hope everyone's okay um, and you're having a good day and if today is not going well I hope um, tomorrow is better um, so yeah I don't really do colouring chats as you know but I thought because this is slightly different where I'm using you know a watercolours basically on a pre-prepared page I thought it might be useful to see how well it works I did do testing on a separate video I hope that was okay I'm always nervous it might it might seem as I'm not nervous you know um, when I'm doing my videos but actually I am but that's just me that's just what I'm like um, to bring you in a little bit more there so you can see better that's I'm only doing this bit and then I'll hopefully remember to ch uh, turn the paper I mean sort the camera out so you can see the other parts that I work on so yeah um, so what can I say right so we've got school starting I don't know when I'm going to get this video out but um, yeah school starting from 8th of March so they probably by the time I get this video out they'll have already um, begun so it'll be back to work um, and uh, yeah I'm sort of looking forward to it a bit nervous but then again that's me I'm always nervous so it doesn't matter Right, so there we go. I really like that bright yellow actually. So now I'm going to work on, just move my water out of the way so I've got a bit of space there. I'm going to work on this central bit here. So this is a lovely, looks like a gardening scene to me. Um, I don't actually do gardening because there's too many bugs. Although I really like the concept of gardening. Um, you know, it just, like pictures of gardening just give you that lovely homely feel and I admire anyone who can like um, grow things without them dying because I don't seem to be able to do that I do sometimes I mean my cacti survive but then again they're quite tough plants so I don't think I've achieved much by them being able to uh, grow and not die so yeah I really like when I use neo colors this is how I use them basically I just pop them down on the paper I rarely I have got that Caran d'Ache palette thing but I don't use that too often it's not really one of the things I use a lot um, say if I can't get into little you know like these bits here it's not with me at the moment not to hand so I can't use it right now but yeah in little areas where um, it's hard to get into 
where a paintbrush would be easier rather than the crayon then then I'd use the um, Caran d'Ache board I think okay so next colour so yeah one of my favourite med mediums to use is Neo Colour for back Ground. and this is more this is like a background isn't it because it's a big area um, so yeah what can I say yeah the shops are not going to open until quite a while yet gosh I can't remember the dates but a few months yet um, so it's just been mainly online shopping but yeah, it is um, good that hopefully places are beginning to open up. So what is it like um, where you are? Um, you know, do you have to wear masks, for example, when you go out? Is what restrictions do you have? It'd be interesting to know because what goes on in in other countries right okay so that next color now um, there's a few books I've actually got I know I go from one subject to another sort of skip all over the place don't I but, um, yeah I was just thinking that I've got a few books that I ordered but they have not arrived yet they were pre-ordered and unfortunately I haven't yet received them because I wanted to do a flip through so the book was called um, one of them was called Woodland Mandalas and I thought that the pages looked really nice um, I like mandalas which are not just you know patterns but with actual like different types of objects in them like animals and things those sort of appeal to me more. I still like the um, design ones but maybe not as much as the ones with different things in them. And then the other book that I also had on pre-order which hasn't arrived, I think they didn't have any in stock, was Quirky Collages to colour I think. But I've now ordered them from a different place uh, called place called Wordery I think so I'm really hoping that they deliver because book depository sort of take quite a while to um, arrive and then there was one more a creative haven one but I can't remember the it was a very detailed one I can't exactly remember the title I think it might be Entangled Gardens yeah I think it might be that and um, yeah so I, I'm hoping they come so I can do flip throughs on the channel because they may be of interest because the um, circle of life flip through I did that was um, a very big success in terms of people liking it um, and it and definitely is one of my favourite books and I hope to I really want to finish that book one day because I like pretty much all the pictures not so much the spider page but all the rest are great um, although I'll have to complete the spider page um, if I'm going to complete the book but yeah probably do that last uh, right so I'm going to I think I missed a little bit there which I'm going to add in Right, so now I'm going to also do the side bit where you just off your page here, which is a little ladder. So yeah, how's like everyone doing? You know what you're colouring at the moment. Um, what book are you really enjoying at the moment in your colouring? The book I'm really enjoying at the moment. Well, you know what it is. It's Circle of Life, and I know that. I did a community post um, a week ago or so, a few, well, depending on when this video goes out, um, asking which book to colour in and Circle of Life was um, the winner. 
which I was really hoping it would be because yeah when I do a, a sort of a I don't know colouring chat colour along I don't call it colouring tutorials because just I'm no expert at all I just definitely do not see myself as being able to teach others with this sort of thing um, but you can watch what I've done so I just call it colour along colouring colour along or you know something like um, colouring chat or something Oops. so yeah I, I am going to do that in March um, I've sort of chosen a page let me know what you think um, if you've got the Circle of Life book um, that came out recently. It's the front page basically with the koi fish on it. Um, that's the one I've chosen but I'm not going to make it look like the typical koi fish. Right, so I'm going to start adding my, um, the, well, you know, water brush part, the water bit. So let's start at the top here. So yeah, um, I was thinking that on video I'll do the just getting my water brush ready the um, what's it called the koi fish page which is basically the front page one the picture on the front page of circle of life so um, um, what do you think of that page do you think it's a good choice um, I hope you're all happy with it um, and then I was thinking one of the fish one of the fishes because there's two fish on there two koi fish and I thought one of them I could do in warm colours and the other one I could do um, in cool colours and then um, I would want to use um, you know some glittery stuff because obviously my page would not be complete if there was no glitter on it so I have to have some sort of glitter on it definitely um, maybe some sort of metallic paint but I'll, I'll I'll say like for example I'll give you can always if you don't have metallic paint you can use metallic gel pens if you don't have um, sort of um, stickles or something you can use loose glitter or just glitter gel pens so there's always ways alternatives that you can use um, it doesn't always have to be you know the media you don't have to have a wide range of media it's just that because I enjoy this hobby so much and I don't really spend money on much else apart from well apart from you know your usual things that you have to spend it on but in terms of you know things for myself I don't really buy much else apart from art stuff because that's what I enjoy so my hard-earned money goes on the th things like that um, but you know, it's not necessary to have every supply. You can use alternatives and you still get a lovely result, which is basically what we're all after, I think. I hope I'm on camera, yeah I am. I, I do often worry if I'm not on camera and I'm colouring away and you're thinking what's she doing now? right there you go oh yeah I, I like that and you know you can see from oops, the back of the page that it's fine yeah and this is Amazon printed paper so if you think about it um, it's not particularly easy to use water on these pages but you pre-prepare it maybe I should start from the top here so I don't so I don't my hand doesn't smudge anything Um, I'm really looking forward to the Joanna Basford book and she did a flip through um, of it I think um, some time ago I think she did a flip through and it was really I really like it um, what I noticed is that there weren't that many detailed pages and I really like detailed pages um, I think there was a, f a few but not many and quite a lot of the pictures had a lot of um, space for the background so that if you wanted to add something or if you wanted to you know do a really you know really nice background there's a lot of background space so that you could add your own things for some of the pictures 
but um, yeah I liked it and I've definitely got it on pre-order so yeah it's nice to work in like detailed pages as well as non-detailed pages for me I get a lot of satisfaction out of the challenge of working in a detailed page it's just um, the challenge of making things out and then colouring them and um, sort of that's what I like but I like working in less detailed pages as well on less detailed pages right in there so yeah I'm just using um, I really like the Arteza water brush really nice it's just that I wish you could get the Arteza water brushes um, in single packs because um, I went over that a little bit the rake with the paint unfortunately but I'm sure I can go over that with a water brush pen or something else so yeah I really like these pastel shades I think it's quite nice so yeah as I was saying um, if only the R2's uh, water brush pens came in singles, that would be really good because I don't really use the thicker brush ones, I the thicker tip ones, you know, the, the wider brush ones, you know what I mean. I want the fine, this is the fine one and that's the only real one I use so I don't really want to get a pack of them when um, I, don't, I don't use the rest, it's just little bit of a waste so yeah these are really nice colours I like this combination of um, shades for, um, from the Neo colours I think they're really good I think they go really nice together so just in case you wanted to know the shades that I used from the Caran d'Ache 84 set were from dark to light it was pink so yeah that's that one pink and then um, I used salmon pink and then um, what's this salmon um, apricot or apricot however you say it orangish yellow um, and then and then last one Sahara yellow um, really nice shades I've used them on other pictures before as well these shades yeah don't forget to um, let me know what you're colouring at the moment and um, yeah which book you're really enjoying at the moment like your favourite one that you're colouring in it's always interesting to to know and also I just wanted to also say thank you um, so much to all of the new and original like subscribers from day one of my channel um, I really appreciate each and every one of you and basically you make the channel what it is because without you it you know it just wouldn't you know do anything really so thank you it's not long to Easter now there's just what some more water out there. Just about, um, I think, three, four weeks, something like that. So I'll have to complete some spring pages, so pages with daffodils in them, and you know, 
Easter eggs and all of that sort of business. Chicks. I'm a very seasonal colourer. So I really do enjoy colouring seasonal pictures. So yeah, I've got um, I've, oh oh yeah, what I was going to say actually sort of broke my train of thought there a little bit. Um, so go back up here. So basically, I was going to say that the other day, well, it wasn't the other day; it was the other week, sort of, actually a few weeks ago. Um, I thought I'd count all my colouring books. Well, before I counted, I said to my husband, um, you know where I keep my books, so you've got to decide. Um, you've got to decide and guess and make an educated guess as to how many books I've got. And if you get it right, you'll get a gift. <laughs> so that was my um, little game that I set up for him. And... Um, and he did and he guessed so well and I said basically you've got to be within 10 like plus or minus 10 um, of the number the real number and uh, he guessed it correctly obviously since then I've bought a few more but at that time he he guessed I think um, he said I think 302 and um, the amount of books I actually had, the number of books, colouring books I actually had, and so this is counting the books that I don't colour in too often, um, is 305. So he was within three, because he guessed 302, I think. So I was quite impressed. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get him yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. But yeah, it's like a good little um, game, that. And when I realised that I've got... Because I didn't actually think I've got over 300. I thought I'd got less, but... Clearly, I was wrong. Um, but, you know, I'm a book collector. <laughs> Colouring book collector. So that's what a collector does, they collect books. And I do colour in them a lot, so it's not like... I mean, every day I colour, pretty much. Um, even if it's like... It's very rare a day goes by where I don't colour. So, you know, I am using what I have, so... I don't... I did feel a little bit like bad thinking, oh gosh, over 300 books. But then I thought, well... You do use them. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit because I've got, I think I lifted up a bit of colour there. Oh, and I've lifted up it with my finger there. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it dry. In fact, what I sometimes do, I'll just show you, is I go onto the crayon and I um, sort of just pick it up, pick colour up from the tip. And it is quite concentrated, so you can see there. And I just add it in. So I do that sometimes. It's very much um, trial and error when I do colouring. Um, which is fine. I think that's not like a bad thing. There. Okay, so it doesn't look too bad. And then I'm going to do this bit. So, yeah, I don't really know. This is why I don't do colouring chats too much because I run out of things to say. And yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to colour in this bit. Oops, can lift it back up because it's 
gone on there but you can wait the best the good thing about this um, satin glazing liquid is if you go over you can lift up most of the colour as you can with watercolour um, but if it was just the page I won't be able to do that as in not a pre-prepared page with satin glaze I won't be able to lift up the colour because it would have absorbed into the um, paper itself so that's the um, advantage and it's just much more enjoyable to to you know actually be able to move your watercolour around like this and use it as it needs to be used um, when you haven't got watercolour paper because obviously watercolour paper would be the first choice but there's not many books that are printed on watercolour paper for obvious reasons being very expensive okay so just adding in some parts where it's not quite as dark as I want it so for example up here so if I had my palette I would scribble some down on a palette and add um, add it with my brush but my palette's downstairs and yeah can you see here it's quite faint which is not what I want. I want it to be a bit darker there. So I'm going to add in a bit more colour directly from the crayon. So all I do is I use the either that end or this end and I just take off a bit of the colour with my water brush. So like that and then I just add it on like this. If I want it to be right richer in colour, that's what I do. Um, maybe add a little bit here again, a little bit in this corner. As well. And up here so yeah that's that oh and thank you everyone for your comments as well you know on particularly well on all my videos but particularly on the last February pages um, it's really good uh, really nice stuff people write and just want to say thank you for that it's always appreciated um, Definitely. And I always try to reply back to every comment, so um yeah, if I if I take a little bit of time, you know, I will still get back to you. Just might not be straight away, but if you've got any questions I try to get back to to you as, as soon as I can. And that's it really. That's my background. I'm just gonna I need to stop fussing with it now. Right, so that's it. And um I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see what it looks like. So yeah I just did the background well the inside of I mean this is the edge background there is to do yet which I shall do but for now this is what it looks like um, it's like a new colour background and you know the paper is I hope you can see that it's not bad really is it considering it's Amazon printed paper so it's it's handled it quite well and only the satin glazing liquids allowed me to do that so I think I'm going to, whenever I want to use watercolour on an Amazon printed book, I'm going to use my satin glazing liquid. Okay, so um, 
I hope you enjoyed the video and um, until next time take care bye